All right, it is 6.50 on the Sunday morning. And Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott, I want to give you an update on the latest of Nate, which is now Tropical Storm. A strong tropical storm winds at 70 miles an hour, but it is weakening. But we got some wind coming across our state. Let's show you what's happening again on the radar at 6.50 a.m. Lots of heavy rain moving uh, basically northward across Alabama, kind of pinwheeling around uh, what's left of Nate. And the center of Nate, by the way, very close to uh, Myrtlewood, Alabama in Marengo County. Western Marengo County, that's where the center of it is. The stronger winds going to be east of that and to the south of that. Uh, this activity continues and we'll notice conditions improving pretty fast by midday into the early afternoon as Nate does rapidly move on off to the northeast. We've got reports of strong winds with this band of uh, heavy rain that's tracking northward across the area. Rain falling uh, in the Tuscaloosa area, but the heavier rain to the east of town. Uh, areas like West Blockton towards Calera that's approaching the Birmingham Metro. We've got uh, more rain down in Marengo County, again, where the eye, what's left of the eye of the storm, the center of circulation, is uh, moving that direction, moving in a north-northeast direction towards Demopolis. Uh, quite a bit of rain and wind in Greensboro and Marion currently ongoing. So far, one encouraging thing is there's not a lot of reports of uh, damage here in the area so far. Uh, most of the damage reports have been to our south and southwest. A rainfall amount since midnight. Now, understand we had quite a bit before that. We've had rainfall amounts generally uh, three quarters of an inch in Tuscaloosa so far. Uh, Montgomery a little over one inch, but these totals will continue to add up this morning. Tropical storm warning in effect for most of central and western Alabama. That includes all the counties that's in that maroon shade, uh, basically near and to the south of Interstate 59. Uh, that does include Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston for the potential for some tropical storm force wind gusts later this morning as uh, Nate does continue in that direction. Here is Nate. The 4 o'clock advisory has uh, Nate again moving north-northeast. Uh, winds were at 70 at that point, but winds will continue to come down uh, with the Nate over the next uh, few hours. Here's the track from that. Again, by 1 o'clock, should be somewhere near Arab, Alabama, approaching Huntsville. Uh, quickly moving out. Again, once we get into the afternoon, this is going to be uh, pretty much moving out of our area. Again, wind gusts are approaching a tropical storm force across a good chunk of West Alabama and Central Alabama, uh, especially south of Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. We got winds that are gusting about 22 in Tuscaloosa, 20 in Birmingham, but you see the red shades uh, down to the south of that over Bibb County, Perry County. That's where we have winds that are gusting uh, uh, around tropical storm force in that part of Alabama. Again, those will continue to spread north-northeast, and we could see some scattered power outage issues in uh, the counties in that yellow shade across central Alabama. The better probability of having some outages is going to be uh, down there around Demopolis and Linden over towards Marion and Clanton in that red shaded area. Here's a look from Tuscaloosa. Again, winds are picking up as of uh, 6.50 in the morning. Rain still falling here in town. We've had some gusty winds uh, here in the area, but uh, so far so good in terms of power outage issues. Have not heard of any reports here, at least in the Tuscaloosa area. Uh, there is Nate, the satellite and radar. This thing quickly moving off to the north northeast and. This big feeder band that's coming through uh, Birmingham now down towards Montgomery, that's going to be uh, the main very heavy rain part of the storm. Uh, the main wind of this thing is going to be uh, that core that's coming across Marengo and moving into Perry County now. Uh, so again, we've got some gusty winds that will continue this morning. We'll watch this carefully, and we will be live on WVUA 23 at the top and bottom of every hour for an update on this situation across Alabama. So we'll have more updates coming on later this morning.